I am Dr. B. Ramesh, uh, Founder Director of Altius Hospital, Laparoscopic Surgeon, Gynecologist, Infertility and IVF Specialist. So today I am going to talk about uh, the role of endoscopy in gynecological problems. So as you know, endoscopy is a broader term which is applicable to all branches of medicine. But uh, when it comes to gynecology, it is two types of endoscopy. One is laparoscopic surgery and other one is hysteroscopic surgery. So what do we mean by laparoscopic surgery? It is also known as keyhole surgery where the surgeon makes small holes in the tummy through the umbilicus and uh, through the abdominal wall. So three to four uh, small uh, incisions and through that he puts the trocar and uh, we put instruments through the trocar and perform the surgery. So finally that means we are creating a small pin holes through the abdominal wall or the tummy of the patient put the camera inside the abdomen of the patient and perform uh, the desired surgery, whatever it is. So then what are the surgeries which can be performed, commonly performed uh, in gynecological uh, problems? So the commonly done you know, procedure, first is diagnostic laparoscopy. That means whenever the patient is suffering from pain abdomen or uh, heavy bleeding, or uh, infertility or any other gynecological problems. So diagnostic laparoscopy is done to find out if the uterus is normal, tubes are normal and ovaries are normal and if the tubes are patent or not. So it is same time both diagnostic and uh, therapeutic also. Whenever uh, we are unable to come to precise diagnosis, on uh, ultrasound or CT scan or MRI. So in those cases, we do endoscopy to confirm the diagnosis. For example, pelvic pain where there may not be anything on scanning, but there may be some finding inside like uh, pelvic infection, etc. So the, one is diagnostic, next is therapeutic. Therapeutic means for the treatment sake, we do the endoscopic procedure. So that is uh, commonly done procedures are for infertility and for gynec problems. So the first is common procedure, what we do is uh, ovarian drilling. So ovarian drilling, the polycystic ovarian disease is a common problem nowadays, which is affecting the younger population and the infertile population. So in this uh, procedure, if the patient is not conceived with the medical line of treatment, then we will we do what is called ovarian drilling. In ovarian drilling, a small needle is put through the uh, abdomen and the small punctures, four to five punctures are made in the ovary so that the androgenic fluid inside the ovary is drained. So that helps uh, to for the patient to ovulate and following this almost 70 to 80 percent of the patients conceive uh, with ovarian dr drilling alone. So next common is the ovarian cyst. Ovarian cyst is a uh, you know like a lobular collection of uh, fluid inside the cyst wall. So it uh, like uh, it is called a you know like a water bag. So it varies from size say uh, 5 cm up to 20 cm or even bigger occupying the whole abdomen. So it is a common problem and if you don't treat the ovarian cyst they may undergo torsion and the woman may lose the ovary itself. So that is why as soon as the ovary cyst is diagnosed which are more than 5 to 6 cm it is better to remove the ovarian cyst through the laparoscope. There are various kinds of uh, ovarian cysts, serous cysts, mucinous cysts, dermoid cysts, 
and endometriotic cyst etc so in depending on the type of the cyst we do the cystectomy most often it is called as cyst removal or cystectomy wherein the cyst is removed completely from the cyst and the normal ovary is left behind and uh, the cystic the pathological cyst is removed from the abdomen of the patient and sometimes it may recur also this cyst the third indication for laparoscopy is ectopic pregnancy you must have heard about tubal pregnancy where in instead of uh, the pregnancy happening inside the uterus it happens in the tubes so that uh, you know it may rupture and uh, it may cause severe pain so whenever the uh, woman gets pregnant we should do scan first and rule out uh, there is ectopic pregnancy or not so as soon as the ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed there are two types of treatment one is medical treatment other one is the laparoscopic treatment in medical treatment if the sac size is less than 3 cm and if there is no heartbeat in the pregnancy then that is suitable for medical treatment so we give three doses of methotrexate and the tubal pregnancy resolves by itself and the patient is cured of tubal pregnancy whereas on the other and if the patient the tube uh, pregnancy is already ruptured patient is in shock or if the mass is bigger more than 4 cm and if the heartbeat is there and if the patient is uh, having severe symptoms and not responded to the medical treatment then we need laparoscopic surgery wherein the tube the uh, the tube harboring the ectopic pregnancy is removed by cauterizing with the cautery and removing the tube in the patients in whom the they want to preserve the tube we call the procedure called salping gostomy or salping gotomy so in this procedure we just uh, make an incision over the tube take out the pregnancy and uh, leave the tube behind so that the tube will heal and the further pregnancy will happen subsequently so this is the third indication the fourth indication is the fibroids fibroids are the common tumors which are which grow in the uterus which again the size varies from 1 cm to 30 40 cm it may be it may occupy the entire abdominal cavity so the symptoms produced by the fibroid are the pain excessive bleeding and infertility if any of these uh, factors are uh, associated with fibroid then laparoscopic removal of the fibroid is necessary so with advancement of technology so most of these fibroids can be removed uh, without uh, much problem but it is a difficult surgery one needs a lot of experience in this so the fourth indication is the endometriosis endometriosis is a type of disease wherein there is a cyst formation and the organs are uh, sticking to each other and the tube and ovaries the relationship is discharged distorted the intestine is adherent to the uterus and the, the patient experiences severe pain during the periods so in endometriosis laparoscopy is called the gold standard we put laparoscope uh, drain all the uh, uh, material uh, chocolate material in the cyst and uh, remove the cyst wall do the adhesiolysis and burn the endometriotic areas with laser and uh, we try to uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, maintain the tube ovarian relationship and try to get the uh, get to the normal situation as possible so following laparoscopic surgery for uh, endometriosis almost 50 to 60 percent of the patients get pregnant so other patient rest of the patients may need IVF treatment following endometriosis surgery so and another common uh, indication for laparoscopic surgery is uh, hysterectomy or removal of the uterus 
so earlier the uh, uterus were done either uh, through abdominally or vaginally so now instead of uh, uh, open surgery laparoscopic surgery has replaced the abdominal surgery so whatever the indication for uh, uterus it could be excessive bleeding fibroid cyst adenomyosis or malignancy whatever may be the problems with the uterus the uterus can be removed without uh, much problem using laparoscopy and the advantage of uh, doing the endoscopic surgery uh, all these surgeries through the endoscope is there is no cut in the abdomen so there is no post operative infection and hernia formation the pain is very less following surgery and uh, the patient can go home next day and they can resume to the activities within 2 to 3 days uh, without any bed rest is not required and uh, they can go to the office within 2 to 3 days and they can travel also they can do all the work there is no infection blood loss is less so hospitalization is less cost is less so overall it is a gift or a boon for the gynecological problem endoscopy is a boon for the gynecological problems